go. Things are changing. Yes, and I was like, I gotta go tell Joe. Joe was asking, what's, what's wrong? What's done to that Mustang? I was like, hell, I don't know. It's a Mustang. I had a parachute on the Yeah, there's a little stuff, a couple yeah. bolt ons, you know. Well, when you see a parachute on the back, you're like, okay, what's going on under there? <laughs> Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope that you are having a fantastic day. Today, we have some more modifications. We got some uh, boxes, a little sneak peek right there, but today, yes, we're gonna do something that I thought and said that I would never do. The thing is, we have the active exhaust. So how are we going to combat that? Because you cannot just delete it out of the car with the actuators in the back and the mufflers. So that's what we're going to do is unbox a couple of things, show you how we're going to do it and show you what exactly we're going to be doing to the exhaust to make it reversible. The idea is to be able to go back and forth. So that's what we have in this box right down here. And another little sneak peek at something else special that's going to be coming uh, very, very soon, another little sneak peek at something that's going to be coming very, very soon. Um, exhaust related, yes, but new car related, possibly. Inside here, something really cool. I think it will be uh, something that you guys might be interested in if you have a active exhaust equipped Mustang 18 and up and you want to go back and forth again you cannot just delete that out of the tune at least we tried we've been a little bit unsuccessful uh, maybe there's a fix out there but this is going to allow us to be a little bit reversible look at that front intercooler just sitting there oh, i love this car okay so it said that there's going to be a special unboxing i'm going to leave it for the end of the video for something that is really really cool that's coming and you're not going to want to miss it but i'm going to leave it at the end of the video so you have to stick around but all right we have this opened up here and this again is the highlight of the video that this is how we're going to do it got this from american muscle and oh, first time seeing it cool man all right we got some uh cleaning up to do there oh that's just a little bit of gasket on the back of that it looks like yep that'll come off so stainless steel this is uh, AWE is who makes this, AWE. This is a exhaust actuator bracket that's going to hang underneath of the car, underneath the charcoal canister. When we get the car over to the shop today, you're gonna see how this is mounted. It's gonna house the actuators so you can leave them plugged up and it will basically trick the car into thinking that the active exhaust still works. You can have your drive modes, no check engine light, but you can swap back and forth to you know, the dumps or whatever you want to do. Now we could do like exhaust cutouts on this car. Yes, uh, that might come later down down the road. I don't know yet, but this is really cool, pretty cheap, um, and I think it's going to be nicely hidden up under the car and will allow us to go back and forth pretty easily. For the last time, well, not really the last time, but for this video at least, so you can hear how the car sounds like right now. Twin turbo. Right now we have the Lethal Performance Exclusive Double H-Pipe. Links in description if you want any of whatever you see on this car, basically. And we have the Corsa Extreme Active on the back. Pulling in, Riverside Muffler and Alignment, RMA. And I worked with these guys in the past. And they've been very good, so. I expect nothing less this time. Sounds so good. I love it. What's the hit? Oh, it's gorgeous. I appreciate it, thank you. Go. Things are changing. My idea was to right maybe around like this area here, somewhere wherever it's you know appropriate to have the flanges welded in 
so that we can still go back and forth between this and the dump. So yeah. we'll just make a three inch that. I mean, these are easy and they're quick. But yeah. The problem with this is these bands, they tend to give out. You can't pull these on and off. Oh, I know. I've dealt with them on the, the turbos these, up these there. Stuff. Instead of making hangers right here, we need to we need to make a place where we hook a hanger in here somewhere. That way when you take this off and slip it off, you just put your dump on it. You ain't got to worry about trying to fit it in the hanger and go in here. Yeah. I can put you a hanger system that's set across it to hold this up at all times. You so don't think you, it'll have too much? No, not when you're raised. No, it's a race. Uh, let me show you the hanger. I mean, it may, it may keep it like this for a while on the street, you know? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so what we do is basically fasten that into there. Right. And come up here and I'll weld this right across here, but I'll bend this back so it runs here. So I, I understand. Backside. Gotcha. You're not overheating your rear end, your axles, oh, or anything no. like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty bad. Ass. <laughs> Twin turbos. <laughs> yes, you know, like I gotta go tell Joe. Joe, that's what's wrong. What's done that Mustang? I was like, hell, I don't know. Mustang. Yeah, there's a little stuff, a couple yeah. bolt-ons, you know. Well, when you see a parachute on the back, you're like, okay, what's going on under there? <laughs> That's I told you what's the pain yeah, in the ass to change these filters. I've yeah, never buddy. seen yeah. turbos under a car. Like, that's the first time I've ever they seen it. Yeah, they call it a sleeper kit. Look at that. Two Bad turbos right down. here. We can do that to my El Camino. Yep. That would be yeah. awesome. Right there. Instead of going in through the headlights like I was wanting to do. That is awesome. Yeah. Of course, I was going to do it with my Ram Airs. That is awesome. Twin turbo underneath. I was like, oh, I got to see that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. These are neat, too, because they're oilless. Oh, shit. Really? Yeah. So it's a comp turbo. It's a Hell Horse kit. Uh, kind of like a Hellion, but a little different. Uses a comp turbo oilless. You got a Zerk fitting here? Yeah. Everybody, every 3,000 miles, I hit Reach them. It up. Yep. That's it. No oil to deal with. We are here at RMA in Clarksville, Tennessee. Links down below. I've dealt with them in the past. And uh, Bobby here. I'm going to let him get to work. And you are also a automotive enthusiast. So something he's building over here, really cool. Um, but I'm going to let him get to work, get out of his way, and we'll go from there. New parts are on. Here we have my lovely Corsa Extreme Active Exhaust Mufflers, the axle backs. Now, this is what you're going to delete. This actuator that sits above here, held down with three bolts. Now, when you use the new AWE bracket, which I'll show you in a second, you're gonna leave these out. These are part of the system here to open and close a flap. Pretty cool that we have everything installed. Now, I wanna say that before we show you what's underneath the car, Corsa is, and always will be, especially with this combination, my favorite, my favorite exhaust combination on an S550. Mine is a twin turbo car, it sounds a little different. If you wanna get close to the way that my car sounds before this modification. You need the active mufflers, uh, the extremes, and either the double X pipe, which I highly recommend, or the new Lethal Performance made by Corsa, still Corsa, double H pipe, which we still have on the car. If you're interested at all in any Corsa products, please, video description links, save you some money. I've got some really fantastic codes down there, guys. Um, you can shop around Hellhorse, Lethal, Corsa, uh, Anderson Composites, everybody, pretty much everything you see on this car, man, we have a discount code for to save you a boatload of money. Doesn't really affect me at all, but it's all for saving you guys some money. So I'm gonna take you underneath the car, show you exactly what we have done. It's really cool. I think you're gonna like it. And then we're gonna go for a test drive. Subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on. It has to be on because I think that what I might do is, yes, don't hate me, split this up into two videos because I don't want this thing to be 45 minutes long, but I will give you some revs. I will give you some revs in this video. And I know you've been holding out, for the special unboxing, which we mentioned in the beginning of the video, that is still coming. But for initial drive review and impressions on how loud this thing might be, you gotta click the subscribe button because that video is gonna be coming next. All right, here we go underneath the car. Look at this. All right. So, let's get under here. AWE bracket. So this is your charcoal canister. I guess what you call it part of your evap system the aw bracket awe bracket sits right here in the existing location of these bolts um takes about 
two and a half minutes to install uh, both on the car and these actuators but you see how they're plugged up and i just relocated zip tied zip tied so that they don't flop around but this is how they're going to live now if i want to go on like a road trip or something like that all i have to do is not dislocate the whole bracket but i can just unscrew these relocate them to the mufflers over here which i know takes some time but for the most of this car's life it's pretty much a drag built car we do a lot of racing uh, we're going faster every single time we go out there to the track really cool because twin turbo cars are like that it's like every time you go to the track that weather is better especially when you're getting closer to the, the, the fall weather man and it's like a new personal best every time but anyway this is what we've done to the rest of it. Check this out. Oh yeah. We got some turndowns. Pretty cool, man. So uh, we just went from the back of the H pipe. Uh, the X pipe would be the same if you got Corsa. Now, if you have a different mid pipe, then this will be maybe a little bit different from you, for you. But over there, we have uh, the exhaust hanging in the middle, like we talked about, like he talked about in the beginning, Bobby. So but it's stable. Look at this. I'm shaking the heck out of this. It's not moving at all. So I was not so sure it was going to work in the beginning, but yes, totally, totally good to go. Um, we are pretty much right in line with the uh, rear axles here. So facing down towards the ground, this car will shoot flame when, especially when we two-step it, which is working, by the way. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty crazy. So let's get in the car, turn it on, see how loud this thing is now, and then remember, two-part video. Come back in a couple of days and check out the review because I imagine it's gonna be a little bit different. I don't know if I've made a mistake doing this or not, but we will find out. Really, really simple modification. I like the easy ones doesn't take up a lot of time um, you're going to spend more time watching this video than you will installing this new setup trust me but all right let's fire it up I'm excited man If you just unplug the active exhaust, you're going to get codes or you're going to lose your drive modes. Now, we got my mode, normal, my mode, sport, track, everything works. So we're not losing anything. So really cool, but this is extremely wake the dead loud. That is way different. Really helps me appreciate how well the course of mufflers actually worked. And they were extremes, they were loud. This is deafening. But let's take it down the road, do some revs, finish the video properly, and again, stay tuned for part two. But before we do that, we have to open up the other box. We have to do that. Here we go. Look at this long tube headers, longtubeheaders.com. I don't know if you guys remember way back in the day, I had my buddy uh jeremy come over he had like a ruby red mustang gt we did full course exhaust on it and then like two weeks later he's like i want to rip it off man i want to trade the car in for a c8 corvette well well his car in a couple of weeks will be here and this is going to be his first modification i'm going to be with him when he picks it up takes the liver we're going to do a lot of content because I've got a lot of seat time and a 2020 GT500 with the DCT transmission, but not in a Corvette at all. The most I've been around a new C8 is just walking around. I've never driven one, sat in one, nothing. All that is going to be changing here very soon, very excited. But what's in this box is his first modification, and I got the green light to show you. So get ready. Let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. Oh. Long tube headers. Oh, I totally butchered that up. It's okay. Let's see. It said fragile in the box, so I assume it's fragile. Need some padding. This is pretty cool. I've never experienced or dealt with anything from Long Tube Header Company, but I've always heard good things. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is impossible to get this out. What in the world? There we go. 
That was obnoxiously difficult. Okay. Oh, look, we're not done. All right, time out. Cool, man. So he has some high flow catalytic converters. He wants to start doing like exhaust mods and performance mods like immediately. I, again, am really excited because I have not driven a C8 yet. I've heard so many good things, um, but really excited to bring you that content. But anyway, we're gonna take this car, my car, my beautiful now ruined exhaust, <laughs> Uh, twin turbo Mustang down the road gets you some exhaust clips in the video properly I know this has been a lengthy video, but there's just so much excitement in it so many good things um, Now and also to come so let's get rocking and rolling get you some exhaust clips finish the video stay tuned for part two Here we go totally forgot before the exhaust clips. What's the point? What's the point of doing this? Why save weight honestly? Um, just something that we can do go back and forth between track and road Road and track, there you go, or drag strip, whichever. And save some weight. So the deletion of the mufflers should save somewhere in the ballpark. I can confirm this next video if everybody wants to know what exactly that will be, but somewhere in the ballpark, I think of around 60 pounds. That's significant, that's like half a tenth of a second, which may not seem like a lot, but it is. It all adds up. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you going to save judgment to the next video? Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments.